Philip here. Dominic here. How are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, all good, all good. Hello, welcome to the Watch Hub at David Carpenter. Um, just wanted to start by getting rid of that, actually. <laughs> uh, there you go. Just wanted to start by thanking everyone for um, liking and, uh, and subscribing and sharing uh, the video last week, our first video. Um, it's, if this is the first time you've seen us and you've got an interest in watches, and you love all that kind of thing, then please hit the subscribe button, which, which way around is it going to be? It's probably somewhere down there, I think. Hit the subscribe button there, um, and, uh, and share it around uh, to learn more about what's going on in the world. Watches. Sharing is caring. It is caring. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> uh, okay. So um, this week, uh, we've got a little bit more of a structure, haven't we? We know, what, we're trying to, we're <laughs> we know what we're doing. Um, just. Just about. Um, uh, we're going to be covering uh, a lot of the industry news, things that have been happening this week in our world. Um, and also, you can find out at the end of the video what my next watch is going to be. Ooh, and you don't know, do you? I haven't got a clue. No. I'm no. slightly worried. I don't really know. And no, no inklings at all? Maybe, if I think about it, but it's quite hard work to think about it. I know, we, we, we've, got, we've got a lot to choose from. Mm. Cool, so yeah. Watch at the end of the video. I'll reveal what my next watch is going to be, and uh, be interesting to hear what you think as well. Um, cool. Uh, just a, a couple of things then. Um, we're going to put this out now every week on a Thursday evening. So Thursday evening, eight o'clock. We'll uh, put this out there for all to see. We're we'll up against EastEnders. EastEnders. We we'll smash it. We'll smash. <laughs> <laughs> Eastenders, <laughs> no. but uh, yeah, whatever else you're doing, you can always watch us. You can always share it with your, your friends. Yeah. Like but um, yeah, yeah, uh, we, we don't want to compete with uh, <laughs> national favourites like that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing every Thursday. This will go up. We will do some other content as well, which again, there'll be tips and hints Ooh. and how tos and guides and all that kind of thing as well. Um, those will go out as and when. Um, but this is going to be a weekly kind of roundup. So, uh, so tune in, like, share with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Awesome. Might even invite David in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the, get the boss man in. Why not? Yeah, he'll love that. Of course he will. He's, he, <laughs> in fact, he's still doing his makeup now. <laughs> for his appearance. A um, couple of shout outs then, first of all. Uh, just wanted to thank, again, everyone who commented. Um, one of the things that was really nice to hear was that you liked the fact that it was informal and that we are just doing what we do. Um, so thanks for, for your comments. Um, Malcolm, Malcolm Wright, thank you so much Malcolm for again what you've said there, it's great to hear um, uh, opinion from people we respect, that's great. And David Ashby as well, who's a great client of ours, a really nice guy, uh, thank you for liking and sharing and for your, your, your lovely comments as well. I've got a couple, uh, Vanessa Greenfield, uh, she'd be very surprised to hear her name. Uh, <laughs> we will be reviewing ladies watches as part of this channel most definitely. But, isn't it about size? I've, the size that counts? It's, size is important, yes. It is very important, whether it's, <laughs> you know, whether it's male or female, it's, yeah. No, uh, you're, no, you're right, you're right, it is. Uh, the other shout out is to uh, Instagram, uh, massive underscore clock. Do you get last name that? Uh, thanks for the follows and the likes. Um, they were interested about my leg update. Yeah, the, le oh, the leg update, right? Yeah, Not the leg update. Yeah. yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, so, Mix with it. yeah. How was barstool and beer not a good combination? The rest I might leave to your imagination of how I did it. However, it ended up being a dislocated knee, the torn tendon, weeks of physio, and exercise. Oh God! <laughs> that's worse. That's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst. <laughs> Not the exercise. Yeah. Or the physio. The physio did not. Yeah, yeah. That's laying down. So all that sympathy, it's really nice to hear you know, so much caring and, and, and love in the world, but, but it was his own fault. So, uh, <laughs> but next week we'll, we'll take you deeper into his, Indeed, his name. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, any, anyone else? No, that's, 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 that's two for thank you. Cool. Um, one of the things that we did get commented on a lot was, uh, was the, uh, the, the sort of slapstick comedy element, bizarrely, that um, we were called everything from uh, a watch, Morecambe and Wise, Chuckle to Brothers. Chuckle Brothers. Well, I can't tell you what we called it. Um, <laughs> no. And uh, and uh, and Deck was oh, also yes. yeah. Um, and then it's quite interesting because we looked at, um, oh, at, yeah. at pictures of the guys, and of course, naturally, I just for some reason sat on this side and you sat on that side, and it feels it just felt weird when we tried it the other way around. Yeah, um, so and Deck do that whole kind yeah. of thing. 
you what you had a look at some pictures. I looked on yeah, I looked on uh, Instagram and all sorts of things just at pictures of them, not in that kind of way. <laughs> um, and I found that even in their private lives and when they are together, they're the same side. That's a bit odd, isn't it? That's a little bit weird. I look at us walking up the high street sometimes after work. Yeah. Oh, it is the same way. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's really odd. to the pub normally. So, do you guys have a side that you prefer? <laughs> that sounds really. No, you know what I mean. That's really odd. Yeah, I never considered yeah, that. True. It is. Um, uh, and, and actually, I, I started looking as well at Ant and Deck because I thought I'd be interested to see what watches they wear. And what's really bizarre is that Deck, who's on this side, because he's the short one as well, <laughs> so I thought I'd get that in there, um, he wears his watch on the left, which is, uh, I think, probably 90% yeah. of people tend to. But Ant, who wear, he's on the right, actually mm. wears his watch on the right as well, which is even more bizarre. It's yeah. really strange. Is on purpose or not? I don't know. Mm. I, I, in every shot I've seen he's watching, his watch is on the right and Fair Ant Dex is on the left. You would imagine it's all and, and then I started looking at to see what they wore, because of course you, you would. And uh, all, a lot of the photos I've seen of both of them, um, especially when they're doing I'm a Celebrity, they actually have to cover up the dial. They, the dial is blacked out on the, with like, tape on the front, which I, again I wasn't aware of, mm. but I think they, they, it was to stop yeah. the contestants from knowing what the time what was. The day it is. Is it on? Is it on? But I think Deck wears a Rolex Explorer uh, 2, I believe. I couldn't see what Ant was. So if anyone knows, let us know. I'd, I'd be interested to know because yeah, I've been yeah. pouring through pictures of Ant and Deck as well, which is a little bit worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Got my browser history, must look yeah. a real mess, right? <laughs> Anyhow, um, uh, industry news. Yeah. Uh, a lot going on this week, despite everything. Um, one of the big stories for me was uh, Bremont's new limited edition release. Uh, always interesting when they release things like that, those kind of real special pieces, um, because you know they are really inventive. I, I've got a lot of um, uh, you know a lot of love for for the guys, um, and I've always been a, a staunch supporter. Um, but this uh, limited edition is a Bremont Hawking. As in Stephen Hawking. Okay. Which okay, brief history of time. I I, I can see it. There's a link. I have to say, it's an eight thousand pound watch, and I don't know. I just found it. I read the description, and it, it's got, uh, you know, like they do. They kind of put bits from yeah. their subject in the in the watch, and uh, apparently it's bits from his desk or something or other. But it, it was it just made me laugh. It was almost kind of like oh, well, we've. We've got slices of leather from the, the sole of his favourite pair of slippers. It was kind of that kind of, you know, yeah. he drove over a road once and we've got tarmac from the road in there. Well, it's, yeah. it's that it's just, tangible link. Yeah, it's, it kind of, and although it looks amazing, the rotor does. If you take a look at it online and, and have a look at what they've done, the rotor and the back of that watch is, is, is exceptionally good. For 8,000 though. Oh, it's just a bit much, I think. I think. There's probably I more know. that you could get for 8,000. Yeah. It's and in it's, a range of higher. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot out there, and, and I don't know, it's, it came across a little bit gimmicky, and, and I think that, that's been levelled at them before, I think, but I, I do like it, I admire them, I really do, and it's great to throw yeah, find the, the flag for British watchmaking, but um, 100%. yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one. Uh, let us know what you think, have a look at it, let us know in the comments yeah. below, thank you very much, awesome. Um, uh, Longi, also a new release this week, was the Legend Diver, which they've now released in bronze. Which is cool, because everyone loves a bronze watch, don't they? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Well, I, yes. I do. And, and, and it seems to be the trend at the moment. You know, it's, it's warm. Know, it's warm. It's warm if you rub it. Yeah. You get your sticky <laughs> fingerprints all over. I was thinking about the weather outside. Anyway, it's not warm today. No. Um, and uh, yeah, so brands like Tag, uh, Hoyer have got on that train, uh, Tudor obviously with the Black Bay Bronze, mm. um, uh, who else, um, yeah, Oris, yeah. Um, Oris do some great bronze watches, Definitely. news on that later, yeah. um, and uh, mine and sort of follows from that, mm. I've got two news items to do with one news thing really, so uh, Reservoir watches have, yes you've guessed it, launched a bronze watch. Yay, thumbs up. Indeed, yeah. Um, it's the Hydrosphere. It's in conjunction with Revolution magazine. Ah, yes. Which yeah. that's pretty cool, that's pretty up there. Mm. Um, so it's a retrograde mini uh, jump in with a jumping hour. Mm. It's a Maldives limited edition. Uh, what, you, can only, you can only get it in Maldives? Maybe, because okay. Revolution, welcome to shop. 
Okay. Or about to. Yes. Guess where? Oh, oh all these. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Um, so the view out of that shop window. Oh yeah, can you imagine? Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty smart. Hang on a minute. What? <laughs> Don't we know another independent what shop in Tunbridge Wells yes. that is opening an overseas place in March? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Very good. Watch this space. Please do, definitely. <laughs> Excellent. My third bit of news this week yes. uh, is that Sylvester Stallone, of all people, oh yes, is uh, my mate Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's auctioning off some of his watches. He clearly needs some more money. Yeah, well, uh, his movies are contemporary. <laughs> <laughs> Not recently, yeah, exactly. Not um, with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and stuff. No, that's it. Yeah. So um, if you've got nothing to do on the twelfth of December, mm. Phillips of New York. Yeah. Not Phillips of uh, Kent, of Kent. Oh, Phillips of New York. Um, if you've got a spare 30,000 to 60,000 <laughs> for his Panerai Lumiere okay. uh, from the film Daylight. Mm -hmm. so yeah, pretty cool. 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 Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, he's also got a uh, Richard Mill with a skull in rose gold. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, which looks quite cool. Um, linked there to the Memento Mori, obviously, mm. um, which is about the mortality. Yeah, celebra uh, celebration of your mortality. It, exactly. Here's a price. Yes. Two six five to five thirty pounds. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. You're kidding. Yes. So wow. look out for lot number forty-seven. <laughs> and <laughs> lot number fifty. Is it a really? Yes, I've done this. Yeah. I thought I'd yeah. help you out there. Just who's, who's, who's going to put a sneaky bid on? Oh yeah, definitely. You're I'll probably. be at eight o'clock. I'll be there. <laughs> As I said. So to quote a Demolition Man uh, Sly film. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to regret this for the rest of your life. Yeah. It's like, I think if I hit that button, I wish <laughs> my life wouldn't be worth living. No. Um, exactly, yeah. So uh, in other news, uh, GPHG announced their winners for this uh, uh, this year. Uh, GPHG are, let me get this right, Grand Prix Dorology de Genève. Is that your best guess? Uh, no, it isn't. Um, and now French watchmaker Gus will be having a... He's going to have a... Uh, what, did, what did you just say? Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they, but basically that, that's the GPHG, mm. and you can check all this out on gphg.org. Um, they are, it's basically the Oscars of watchmaking, um, and the categories uh, for uh, men's and ladies' watches and men's complications mm -hmm. and chronographs and divers and things like that. Was this um, year's um, award in bronze? No. There was a watch nominated in bronze, very oh, similar to... Uh, oh. I think to, it to, is to, to this one here. Sorry about that. Here, let me take it up. There you go. Let me take it up. Go on, thanks. There we go. Right. We like that a lot, don't we? Get rid of your there face is. again. Look, there it is. There it's gone again. <laughs> uh, I will do a watch review on that as well. You uh, like that, don't you? I, I'm nearly there on the word grail. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, mm. Oh, it's that, oh, that close. Yeah, wow. Nice. I, I can't wait to see it. I love that, I have to yeah. say. Reservoir watches I've always had a bit of a soft spot for. I think they're, they're a fantastic yeah, looking. Yeah, they're really good, yeah. Just a little bit different. But yeah, cool. uh, Again, interesting to know what you think. Have a look on their website, gphg.org. Um, have a look at some of the amazing things. There are some uh, absolutely mind boggling Definitely. complications and jewellery watches Who there. Is, uh, one of um, are this, oh, there's so many uh, good brands and, and I say brand, brands almost, almost devalue some of these guys. But Tudor won uh, the Challenge Award this year. Uh, mm -hmm. For the Black Bay uh, 58, uh, the Navy uh, release, which is Good. Uh, globally, um, uh, you know, uh, sort of revered as an amazing piece, and I love it. We had one here. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. It's the Goldilocks. Is it? it is. It's, it's a Goldilocks. It's a perfect shape, size. It's just, just right, just right. So uh, that's great. And the only other release I've got to mention is Nintendo. <laughs> who, <laughs> no, no, Nintendo have re-released the Game and Watch, and uh, if you're of a certain age. Which I am. I'm you should. You, I think you about. would just about. Um, game and Watch was an LCD uh, flip screen. It was the first handheld gaming device. Um, but uh, Nintendo have re-released this thing, um, uh, which uh, yes, yeah, Donkey Kong and all that kind of. The block graphics. Mario Brothers, which actually someone also said that there was, oh, a, oh, yeah, there was a similarity, maybe because of the moustache. But I don't know. Uh, anyhow, so that was the news this week. A little round up there for you. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, on the wrist mm. today. On uh, the wrist, I have. I'll take it off as well. Take, take it off, off and I'll show them. Thank you. Yeah. Assistant. This <laughs> is my driver's assistant. Does that make you Debbie McKee? Shut up. <laughs>
Um, Mr. Jones, uh, the King of Spades. Um, automatic, 37 mil, 25 joules, I believe, off the top of my head. Um, 18 mil uh, strap. I love this watch, uh, it's mine. Uh, I love this watch because the King of Spades is a top ranking card in the deck of cards. It's all about playing your cards close to your chest, mm -hmm. but being bold at the same time. Being bold with what you do, why you do it, how you do it. Um, and again, um, it's, <laughs> it's a person in power wisdom. Is it? Yeah. You lucked out then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, it might work. It might work, one day, one day. <laughs> Keep my fingers crossed. But, yeah, you can buy them in store here. Uh, from Mr. Jones. Yeah. A collection behind us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. If you don't know anything about Mr. Jones, um, come see us or drop us an email. Uh, if you want to find out more, we'd be happy to tell you. They're an amazing brand, London based brand. We love them here. Yeah. Um, awesome. And they're doing something really different, and we love them. It's different. It is. Yeah. It is. We love Definitely. it. Yeah. Um, my watch. Ooh, yes. <laughs> my watch is um, a swatch watch that I bought in 19, oh god, it's either 96 or 98, I can't remember which, uh, from uh, H. Samuels in Chatham High Street of all oh, places. Really good. I just started secondary school in 96. Oh, <laughs> you, don't, <laughs> you don't need to tell me things like that. Um, I think I bought it as an adult as well. So, sorry about that. Bit of technical issues there, but what's in this case? What's in the case? What is in the case? In the yeah. case is my next watch. I haven't even discussed this with. So you've got it? No, I haven't bought it. But I will be buying it. This is this is my next watch. Okay. Literally, this will be on my wrist next week. Oh. I know. I know. I'm quite have, you, have you got any ideas? No, I honestly don't. No. Nothing. Take a punt. Oh, Doesn't matter if you get it wrong. No one will be offended. None of the brands will be offended. No, exactly. Hamilton uh, converter. Interesting. Uh, okay. Interesting, because it had a Hamilton converter. It's an awesome watch, and it is on my list. Mm -hmm. It is on my to yeah. buy list. Um, again, Hamilton, uh, amazing brand. Uh, I'll put a link to that as well in the yeah. in the description. <laughs> like that. Uh, have a look at it. It's really really cool. Um, especially if you like an Avatimer. If you're a bit of an Avatimer fan, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. But no, it isn't. It isn't. Oh, well, I, I knew you would say that. I knew you'd give that. <laughs> what hey, was that? Is, oh, okay. God. I mean, this. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's not, I'm not even going to show him, look. I'm not gonna, <laughs> in fact, I'm going to get in the way there. This is my next watch, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. The next watch is the Elliot Brown ah, Halton. Uh, bronze. The bronze PVD Halton. Very good. Which, I, I, you know what, I, I love the Halton for ages. Uh, and those of you, again, who don't know Elliot Brown, you need to have a little look at what they're doing. UK based, based down in Paul in Dorset. And uh, they make rugged adventure watches, really. Things that are really made to take the, the knocks. And they do a lot of work with the military. Um, but this is a bronze PVD, 43mm automatic, um, with some of the brightest loom that's... Oh, yeah, I've seen on a watch. It's amazing. Um, and uh, we, they've expanded into uh, automatic versions of this watch. Originally, the uh, Holton Professional was a quartz watch. Mm -hmm which was for reliability for yeah, the guys in the forces yeah. and all the rest of it, um, which we totally get. But this one is uh, powered by the NH35 movement, which is in a lot of uh, cool watches. It's a really good beta movement. Um, but I love this. And when we got it in, I kept it under my hat. So I was like, I really like it, but I didn't know. I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. And our colleague, um, Samantha, yep. uh, at <laughs> Uh, time on our hands. You can find her on Instagram and everything. Um, she did loads of really cool photos that I've put a couple, I think, on our Facebook yes. page. Um, and the more I looked at it, the more I lusted after it. I lusted after it. Oh. I did. I got a little bit excited. Did you know that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. She might do. She might do. But I, I absolutely adore this watch. Awesome. Um, so a 40 hour power reserve, really solid, it's got a great uh, 120 click bezel, um, so a nice dive watch, but that loom is just amazing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I can't turn the lights off to show you because it would look a little bit weird. Um, <laughs> but it's a very, very cool watch and 
uh, I'm really looking forward to getting it on my <coughs> wrist permanently. Congratulations. What? <laughs> Oh, I'm on your watch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I do. And I, I think yeah. I'm going to put it on my wrist now uh, and see what you think. I, I don't have anything that's kind of <clears throat> gold or warm or bronzy mm -hmm. in my collection. I've got nothing okay. of the sort. Um, so, what do you think? They're good. It's cool. It's a nice size as well. It's a good size. Look, there you go. I just think that is stunning. Oh, okay, I've got really girly wrists, so every watch that's over about 42 mil looks big on me. But I actually really enjoy that. I think it looks amazing. Uh, so well done the guys at Elliot Brown, thumbs up. Um, if you like it, again, give us a thumbs up. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description down there somewhere. Yeah. Um, and have a look. If you don't know of Elliot Brown, you need to do a little bit of research and, and, and have a look. You can look on our website, www.davidcarpenterwatches.com uh, or you can have a look at Elliot Brown. Uh, they've got an amazing website that tells their story really well. Yeah, very well. good. Yeah. But, yeah. That was, a, that was a surprise. Yeah, awesome. Right. You, I hadn't said anything. No, to you, right? oh, no that's cool. Very cool. Good. Love it. Very cool. Uh, so anyway, um, that's pretty much it for us. Um, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button if you've liked, uh, and hit the subscribe button as well down here in the corner, or somewhere, somewhere, goes, somewhere, somewhere down there or down here. Um, and uh, yeah, and please share uh, the link to this video with any of your friends who love watches as much as we do. Um, and share the same passion for what's going on in the watch industry. We'll be back next week with some more uh, news and future watch-related content. Um, again, find us www.davidcarpenterwatches.com or at uh, at David Carpenter Watches uh, on Instagram and at D C. I W S on Facebook okay. and this channel, of course, and this channel, yes, the, the watch, watch hub, the watch hub at David Carpenter. So uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Keep well, stay safe, and see you soon. See you later. Bye. Take care. There's my watch.